నమస్తే చిల్డ్రన్ దిస్ ఇస్ మౌస్మి సైన్స్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ మంగళ విద్యా మందిర సో టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ ఇ న్యూ చాప్టర్ చాప్టర్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ అండ్ సర్క్యూట్ సో ఫస్ట్ వీ విల్ సీ వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ సో హియర్ వీ విల్ లర్న్ అబౌట్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ షెల్ electric bulb electric circuit electric switches conductor and insulator so these all things we are going to learn in this chapter let's see one by one electricity it's a very important for our daily life in modern uh, civilization you might observe that it is very difficult for us to live without electricity so morning to night we are start and we are going to sleep till bed we will end with our day with electricity like morning we need hot water we will switch on geyser then we need to iron that iron box then to cook we need uh, microwave oven or mixer machine and then a freeze washing machine so each and every part we are using also switch on fan lights uh, tv mobile nowadays it is most important as we are doing the online classes so laptop mobile tab so these all are depends on the electricity so it is very important for our life so as it is very important we will know that how electric city produce and how what is the small small things how we can uh, we are switch uh, switching give the switch and we are getting the lights we give the switch we are and that fan uh, fan will on so these all things how it is happening how so this we will learn in this chapter that is electric circuit so to learn this all things first thing is electric cell so you might observe in your home small small battery and that uh, you um, like every day we are using in remote or toys everywhere we are using this all the this uh, cell that is actually called electric cell so but normally we are use the word electric battery but it is it is the source of electricity that means inside this it has chemical which present inside this cell it's produce the electricity so now what i'm telling we are telling battery normally we used to use the battery but what is this things when we will so when we are going to use this one so this one is known as cell okay but when we are using more than one okay so this combination of two or more cell combination of two or more cells are called Okay. so this is known as battery so <coughs> if you observe a cell you might observe that it has one top cap it is called mantle and where this top cap will be there that terminal is known as uh, positive terminal okay and that down opposite side of that positive terminal definitely it is negative okay now this is about the cells so when we will connect this cell with a circuit it will uh, uh, give the electricity to the circuit and whatever we need like when we are using remote it will on and when we are using torch 
torch bulb will glow so when we use the cell inside the uh, appliances okay now next is electric bulb so when we are uh, <coughs> using that to light the uh, with the help of electricity we are using either electric bulb as or tube light nowadays we can get cfl bulb so so many uh, improvisation uh, things has come led bulb cfl bulb but before it was as that uh, normal electric bulb which is look like this okay so in this bulb if you observe so it has like this two terminal okay which will be connect to the two junction of the that means uh, positive and negative side it will be connect okay it will connect it will fix with this two pin you can observe here So here you can observe two pin kind of thing. So this pin will be fixed in the holder, bulb holder. Okay. Now let's see. <coughs> so here you can see in if you observe the bulb carefully as you are in six standard, you might observe the bulb. So very thin kind of things like this here you can observe thin. This is nothing but called filament. Okay. This is made of a tungsten tungsten is one element okay element you can see in the periodic table elements okay it is one element which we are using here as a tungsten like iron copper aluminium these all are elements similarly tungstens also so this tungsten will be uh, with the help of electricity it will glow then only bulb will glow it will burn okay then these two are known as support wear then inside this bulb it is covered with a glass okay then inside that it will fill with the inert gas either argon or nitrogen okay then some another arrangement you can observe it is called exhaust tube then uh mat wear then lid wear okay so these all other parts of the the main things are the support wear as well as tungsten filament then uh, this <coughs> exhaust tube and dummit wear okay these are and then inside inert gas as well as this glass bulb it which is covered the bulb okay and we are using glass to uh, give the you as already you have know that this sim normal glass will is the transparent object so as it is transparent it will we can able to get the light okay so light produced by the glow of filament inside the bulb okay when it will connect to a uh, um, electricity power or power supply then it will glow and we will get the light now electric circuit so first we will see what is the simple circuit okay what is circuit? if you observe here total six uh, picture has given in that if you observe two two uh, um, picture bulb are uh, glow others it's not glow so what is the reason for that it is look like the same arrangement one cell one bulb and some where it is uh, connected so first one if you were that two where it's connected to the cell with the bulb okay second one if you observe what is happening Yes, second one what is happening if you observe here it is not connected it is broken yeah. third one also if you observe it is not connected fourth one you can see the both the where is connected to the one terminal fifth one also similarly one terminal and fix so these two is the complete 
proper circuit. So, what is circuit then? Let's see. The two terminals of electric cell were connected to two terminals of the bulb. Such type of arrangement is known as electric circuit. So, it is a complete circuit. It is closed circuit and other three are open circuit. It's not closed. So, when the circuit will be complete or closed, that time the circuit the electricity supply will start so it is just like this way it is supplying from positive to negative so like this way when it will supply the bulb will glow here also it is happening okay but these all other four it is not connected that means it is not a complete it is break in the circuit so here you can see the break Okay, so it is break in the circuit. Break can be happen if the terminals are not connected or another one thing can be happen if the filament broken. Okay, if the filament also broken, the connection will, the circuit will not complete and bulb will not glow. So I hope you have understood the two terminal of electric cell were connected to the two terminals of bulb. So, two terminal will be separately connected to the two the um, two uh, terminal of the bulb then only the circuit will get complete so here just you observe here it is broken okay in the broken circuit if we make here a switch okay then we can connect it so when we will switch on that means we are going to connect okay like this if I keep like this, now it is broken. But if I see, so now these two are connected. That means switch on. Okay, now this is switch off because both the terminal is not connected. Okay, like this way. So when bar sorry close um, that break in path or break in circuit then bulb will not glow okay now electric switches yes what i was discussing that electric switches switches is that which will break or on the terminal you might observe in your home so many switches are there like this correct so you will uh, so here you can see some plug point so when we will give the plug point some uh, if we want to charge the mobile or charge or anything to iron we have to pin so like that this plug with but this switch we are using okay so switches you can see so what the switch it has two part on and off so when we will on the switch it will connect the circuit that means it will complete the circuit okay but when we will switch off it will break the circuit so break the circuit means it will not that means when we complete the circuit bulb will close fan will on or other activity what we want to do it will happen how we will connect the circuit and when we will switch off the connection or circuit breaks that means bulb uh, off fan off so whatever we want to switch off so it will be stop okay so if you observe here this is a very simple kind of switches you can made in your home with the use of safety pin okay so like the two uh, paper pin use then one terminal you connect and another one is just open keep open so when you just connect this terminal when you connect this terminal with this that time this circuit will complete and bulb will glow okay that means this switch when it will connect the circuit will get complete and this is the one kind of very simple switch so you can make this switch so i have given you one activity where you have to make a simple circuit with a simple switch and you have to take a video that your work model is working that means you have to show that when you are switch on 
the bulb will glow but you don't you you not to use the switch normal switch okay just use like this kind of things make the switch as your own you can use other than safety pin you can use paper pin you can use that <coughs> anything metal metal like normal key or you can use the L lead lead of pencils okay so like that you can make a switch and make a simple circuit so what are the uses of switches it will help to safely break and complete the circuit so it is a safety measures so when we are uh, any problem or anything we can suddenly switch off okay to break the circuit then uh, as we are using you know in your home or some separate separate switches are there for separate separate devices so what will happen if we use one or two switches for all the appliances it will be uh, the circuit will be more complicated and here there will be chances of misuse or misguide the eco, uh, appliances and it can be damaged also okay so it is control the individual devices okay next it will be save energy as well as money okay so when we were using the separate devices for different type uh, this uh, switches it will be save the energy that means we need not need if we use for whole house one switch only that time what will happen if we don't want the some places light or fan or any other things but it will be unnecessarily switch on so that way if we use the separate separate switches it will be save energy as well as money okay so this is about electric switches now conductor and insulated so already uh, you know that conductor means which will be allow allow to pass through that that means the things which will allow the electricity to pass through them like metal that's why we are using the electric wire as a copper wire so copper is a very good conductor okay then iron then aluminium okay these all are very good other than any metal are very good conductor so material which allow electric current to pass through them are conductors of electricity okay like all kind of metals iron copper aluminium pencil lead okay water also good conductors of electricity so this will be allow the electric current to pass through them okay then the material some materials are there like wood then plastic then paper thermocol then uh, you can know china clay so china clay you might observe in your home in that um, fuse where fuse star is connected you no know, in main switch there you can observe that we are using the china clay so it is very good insulated insulator means which will not allow electric current to pass through them okay they are called insulators so these are like cork rubber glass plastic wooden block thermocol paper these are the very good insulator of electricity okay but human body is a good conductor of electricity that's why if we touch electrical appliances with weight what uh, weight hand or if direct connection with the electric wire with the human body it will we will get the electric shock because human body is a good conductor of electricity okay so this chapter anyhow i have finished so it is a very small chapter and very basic things you read and it is a very basic what we are using in our daily life situation you can see these all things so uh, you complete your work first of all you should read the textbook and those who are watch the video read the textbook then you have to complete 
this project so what you will do first you should design a working model of simple circuit so what do you need for that you need one or two cell okay one or two cells then uh, connect in series then you need little electric wire then one bulb small led bulb also very good okay then uh, make a switch with use of safety pin or paper pin okay then prepare a video to explain this circuit so you have to prepare a small video to explain this circuit and you have to upload in the group but the circuit you will draw in your activity book and right side in white page you will draw and right side you will write rule side you will write neatly the explanation on the electric circuit so what you are using required materials then how you uh, make the circuit so these all details you have to write so i hope you have understood this very simple chapter and you have to send this project small video to the uh, group okay as well as this uh, things you have to write in activity book that also take a picture and send to the group okay both the work you have to do and uh, again i am saying you read the textbook before doing the project okay uh, then this chapter also finished i will send you the notes okay thank you children